Hi, it's Chester Topwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video tutorial, we're in Microsoft Excel. And we're going to ask the question, does a cell contain text? In our outcome column, we want to say it's a bad outcome if the, in the transaction details column there's a text value, and there's a good outcome if there's a numeric value. You can see in the transaction details column, they basically got the outcome of the trans transaction, whether there was an exchange or refund or whether we kept the money. Now, the key to this is a little function called isText. isText. Now, what that does is basically ask the question, does a value, is a value, a text value? So, in, I could type a text value in there, but in this instance, I'm going to actually click on this cell, B2, and you can see it will return true. If I copied it down to... Uh, this cell here, it would say false because obviously this is a numeric value. Now, true and false is good, but what I want to do is put that within an if statement. So I'm going to say here, if this is true, then I need a bad, well, I want to state it's a bad outcome. A bad outcome, and if it's false, well, it must be a numeric value, so that's a good outcome for us. So I've got bad outcome there, and if I copy that down, the rest of the sheet will see that wherever I get a numeric value, it's a good outcome, and a text value, I get a bad outcome. Now, can you use this isText function uh, also to uh, color cells that contain a text value? I've just copied the isText portion of our formula, the original bit, and I'm going to select this column of values. So that's Control Shift Down Arrow Key, Control Backspace to go back to the top. Conditional formatting, and I'm going to new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, equals, and then I'll paste in the is text formula. So I'll go to format down here, fill color, I'll say an orange background for argument's sake, click on OK, click on OK, and you can see that the text values have been formatted with an orange background. OK, that's all there is to it. Uh, hopefully that's been useful to some of you at least. Thank you very much for listening. Don't forget to subscribe if you find these tutorials useful. And uh, we'll be back soon with some more video tips and tricks.